Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video blast for August 22nd, 2012. The last month's been a pretty good one for Mitt Romney. He not only added a vice president who's had a lot of enthusiasm and huge crowds on the campaign trail, but they've outraised Barack Obama the last month or two. They've been able to see the economy give them a little bit of a surge. They've been on track, on message, and the poll numbers have been moving their direction as well. So what did they need next? But a lot of talk about abortion as a backbench congressman from Missouri takes what is probably a sure win Senate seat in, in Missouri and hands it back to the Democrats. Maybe handing the Democrats uh, the win in the White House as well. Todd Akin's comments about abortion have taken the Romney team off message, off track, and off the campaign trail at a time that they were getting all the momentum, everything moving in their direction. Now, will it last? Will it actually derail the Romney team? They're doing everything they can to separate themselves from Todd Akin. And the dumping on Todd Akin needs to continue for a little bit longer. Because like a cancer, you have to make sure it is completely gone and doesn't infect other parts of the body or perhaps even transfer to others. They've got to completely excise and remove this guy from any contact with any other Republican candidates before he taints them with his misstep. And they're doing a pretty good job of that. The Democrats are going to try Todd Akin right to Romney, right to uh, the rest of the Republican candidates around the country. And they've got to do everything they can right now to make it clear that nobody stands with Todd Akin. You've even got Sarah Palin saying that this guy needs to step aside or at best maybe put Sarah Steelman as a third party candidate to try and give just another option to keep this guy from destroying Republican chances in Missouri. We'll see how it plays out but right now this is going to be the play of the week and whether it plays in favor of Romney or in favor of Obama will be seen when we roll into the weekend. Stay right here and on the website gillreport.com to keep up to date with all the news as it breaks at gillreport.com.